Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Self the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. There's a reason why it is said that there are two sides to every coin. This rice thing. Rice, the third most consumed staple food in Nigeria, has dominated public discourse more heatedly in the last few months. There are several opinions about the subject depending on who is talking about it and from which perspective. But can we look at some untainted facts about the subject? When CBN says rice import has crashed by over 90 percent, is this true? The answer is yes and no. It is true that demand from the official window for importation has fizzled out. But in 2018, Nigeria still imported about 3 million metric tons of rice via the port and informal channels. Is Nigeria self-sufficient in rice production? No. According to a KPMG report that looked at this subject over a decade, Nigeria produced only 55% of what it consumed in 2018. That left a gap of 45%. So when you see the border closed and prices go up, you know it is basic economics of same money chasing fewer goods. Prices automatically go up. Has Nigeria made significant stride in rice production? The answer is yes. Production has literally doubled over the last decade. Other facts include Nigeria is the largest producer in sub-Saharan Africa, second in Africa, next only to Egypt. Nigeria has a problem with yield per hectare. While yield in China is 6.9 metric tons per hectare, 8.2 in Egypt, it's a paltry 1.8 metric ton in Nigeria. I want to advocate that government gets more honest in its relation with the people on the rice initiative. Don't say we have stopped importing when we imported 3 million tons. Don't say we are self-sufficient when we only produce 55% of what we consume. Share the vision with us more clearly and list our support to make it work. Today, if we double our yield from 1.8 to 3.6 metric tons, the number flips. 55% production becomes 110%. And who says we cannot become a net exporter of rice? At 3.6, we are still far from China's yield of 6.9 or Egypt's 8.2. Let us invest in research and technology. Or maybe simply copy the successful technology-driven farming practices in Egypt or China to drive our rice initiative to its destination. Yeah. I mean, I think you two are definitely rice yes. on exactly the same page, and I'm joining you on that page We'll send as well. this message to mm. Buhari in London. My only query with that is, you know, when you say share the vision, do they even have a vision in the first place? That's why I said so. I think there's that's a little, said, the close border, border, even, even vision, close border is, is confused. Why are you closing border? To, to, oh, it's because of the security. That, that was a knee-jerk oh, reaction. Yeah. 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 Apparently, yeah. it was a knee-jerk reaction. I believe people have been giving the president the wrong impression about how successful this program has been. If you talk to the president, if you talk to the president, quote me anywhere, he will tell you this was how we did it in 1984. Oh dear. And so that's why we Let's go back it to it now. Mm. Mm. 1984 to this time is how many years? Uh, you brought it back because you said it was who, successful who, who in 1984. Yes. And so that is why he wants to take us back to back 1984. To it. And, and, and so the question I keep asking is, one, if tomorrow 
you decide to open your border and you are sufficient, you want to export to these neighboring African countries. What accepted. if they also close their, their border? border? Exactly. Well, uh, they're to beginning to reject some of our yes, yes. businesses. They've started, you know? yeah. Um, but I don't even think you need to share anything overtly. If you're doing something that sh shows some systematic thought, people will get behind you. No, you know, so you don't even need to come but out I, and I say, agree that. get on But you see, how do people get share. behind no, you? No, it's good to share because I think Nigerians as a whole, we become so suspicious yeah. of our Very government. Exactly. We're suspicious of absolutely everything they do. Somebody, I was watching um, a program last night and, and the person said, why is it that everything the government does, even when it's good, people say this and they say, because we are suspicious. Yeah. But we don't we know need you don't more know you. information. No, 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 it's the same no. thing with this um, Operation Positive ID. Yes. You are telling us all manner of different things. Meanwhile, we believe that you have a different agenda. Well, the way it was rolled out. Yeah. It's a it was fake problem. news and then it was if, being rolled yes. out. If an agency of government will more or less communicate that we, have, we are self-sufficient in rights, for example, but we're not self-sufficient. So like, if we are self-sufficient, why do you need to close the Exactly. You know. To, you know, and, and then, uh, sorry, quickly, uh, you see this issue. I remember the cocoa. Do you know that if you go to Yanomon, rubber, rubber research in those state, mm -hmm. built as far back as the early 60s, you know, fantastic, you know, opportunities to research in, you know, rubber, mm -hmm. but we have abandoned it. Mm -hmm. Cocoa research Crane. in um, Ibadan. E Ibadan, you have cocoa research also in Afuze, but now they've been abandoned. Mm. And so we're talking about rice, rice, rice today. I cannot point to any institution where the government is empowering research in rice, but apart from dumping money mm. on yeah, rice, farmers, rice farmers, don't to talk of the $23 billion given to them last year mm. for uh, given to rice farmers because of flooding. Mm. You, you know, so when you pour money at these problems without actually looking at, you know, how do I improve targeted correct, intervention. targeted intervention, it becomes a problem. Yeah. And, and so you get the same result. And then I asked the question just now, I said, are we doing those things that China did? Mm. Exactly. If you don't do those things, you won't get the result. Even if you open your borders, you're not still going to have change. Why is it so cheap to import from Benin Republic and not Nigeria? Mm. Is it not that because you have too many agencies at the port? Exactly. Or that you know you you import a car from here, they charge you three million duties mm -hmm. and they give you receipt of two million. You drive the car outside, a customer will arrest you mm. for. Or under under value, mm. and yet you were not the one that valued the value. Mm -hmm. You paid what you were you told were to pay. Told to pay, and then you are asked to go and pay. You, you know, so all of this confusion, and when there is no systemic approach to it, and then people really don't understand. So what you need to Closing borders does not remedy this. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Then, How can you solve a problem that requires science and technology see, with closing borders? See. You have you have then more you trucks. Even close all you have the more borders. trucks on the Nigerian Time. side of the border no, please, that are that. supplying goods. Mm. That are really supplying to goods to the West African subregion, Cadbury, mm -hmm. even slippers mm. to to Ivory Coast. You have a lot of them stuck in the border there. Mm. And then here, our ports, the, the CG of customs says, our scanners are broken down last year. How many scanners do we have? You get to our local airport, they still use manual mm. to search bags. How are you going to achieve effectiveness <laughs> exactly. with that kind of But let me even take up from your statement that oh, government should be more honest with us. Mm. I think Correct. Nigerians have a, a great capacity for getting, when you give them the real picture, they will adjust. You know, mm. they, will. Yeah. they so, will. So I just want to even make a direct appeal because while we're busy hunting for fake news propagators, mm. government should recognize that they are the ones leading the way mm -hmm. in this whole trend of giving fake news fake or false news. information. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because if you come clean, that I, I'm positive idea, I'm still unhappy about all the zigzagging on that. Because till now, we don't really know. Like they haven't come out openly talks. and mm. said, we said, we, they're letting us fill in the gaps. They, 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 they could even have made a mistake. You can say we made a mistake. Mm. We're not going further. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They would never admit to me. Because I want to believe in the border closure. I want to believe that we actually, like, it's, it's positive news to hear that we've doubled our rice production. Over the last so, 10 years, know, yes, so, we have. So, you know, we, we, we will get behind that. If we feel that that's the way to go, if that's your agenda, we'll get behind it. But not when you're being dishonest about but where the major problem, they're now saying that not just that they closed the borders because of rice, they closed the borders because apparently Terrorism. the bandits have in infiltrated the south. Now, the border then you should be closing should be the northern border okay. because that's where they're all coming in from. But you're not closing that. So again, that raises... Okay, they're not closing the No, they haven't closed the northern borders. Have, Everybody even, has reported that. Even if you close all the formal borders so in Nigeria. what is your agenda? Informal ones. 
The informal ones are over a thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Without wanting to sound them, uh, without wanting to take over the program, let me tell you also. <laughs> no, please, in the no, north, no, the, the cows mm. that we consume here, a lot of them come from Niger. Yes. You know, through informal borders. No tariffs are paid, right, no right. duties. You know, these are a livestock. But you pay ta tariffs and duties for Turkey and mm. then in Cotonou Chicken. and the rest. And then also, you're talking about, um, uh, you said about, you talked about uh, um, Hon being honest with us. Be being honest with, with Nigerians. Mm. And the, the government will tell you, we close border not just because of rice, but the discourse, the discourse, 80% of the discussion is about rice. Mm. Yeah. And less about, you the know, the other things. Yes. And, you know, things as serious as terrorism. Yes. So, but yeah. The reason I'm struggling to, because you mentioned this point again, it sounds like a rice conspiracy. Why? I still don't get it. Why are we, why? Nobody well, yeah. has really explained See, why rice. We conspire about literally everything. everything. Yeah. You, just, you, just, you, just, you just spoke what, about positive what, ID. Where, where, where is the dominant is. production of rice in Nigeria? Northwest. That's the reason why. Because okay. your president is from the north. Oh, like no, you've gone so, back to the tribal so, argument. No, 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 no. I think let's not dodge. <laughs> oh, you know, I like the comment somebody made on YouTube that we don't talk from ethnic, religious um, bands. But I've been waiting because this has okay. to be said. Okay. Rice is because the president is from the north. That's and all. And we so he's pushing oh. an agenda that I think is selfish. But ultimately, if it works, yeah, we will all gain. All but I know that that's why he's pushing you know, rice. Okay. Okay. Because the rest of you have been pushing oil. Why we don't? our rice production was because of processing before we had rice that had stones mm. so when we started processing okay, and destoning yes. you know a lot of people started yeah. so, so, so the government yeah. should get so behind the stoning machines okay uh, well our time is up <laughs> Gosh, rice. some will say we have cleaned up and even licked the plate <laughs> others will say there is more where that came from so keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook plus TV Africa Hashtag the advocate ng or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa hashtag the advocate ng. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the advocate a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah. can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's a terrible, like a terrible, <laughs> terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.